Welcome to Testing AI. In this channel, I break down different AI tools and keep you up to date with the AI world. If you like this video, make sure to hit subscribe. In today's video, I'm going to use ChatGPT to help me practice for interviews. This is the second video in my prompt engineering series. And if you haven't watched the first one, make sure to watch it before this. I'm going to use the prompt structure I described before to interview myself as a front-end engineer, a blockchain engineer, a Walmart reader, a tattoo artist, and a dog groomer. All credits are added to the description of the video. I'm going to use the prompt structure I described before where I want ChatGPT to act as an interviewer. I will be the candidate and mention the position I'm going to interview myself for. Before I get started, I wanted to mention that I'm trying to reach 1000 subscribers. And if you enjoy this video, make sure to uh, subscribe to this channel and help me reach that goal. All right, let's take a second and go over the prompt. Here, I'm asking ChatGPT to act as the interviewer. I will be the candidate interviewing for the specific position that I'm going to mention in the prompt. Usually, when you ask Google or ChatGPT for interview questions, they just give you a list of questions. But if you mention this line, uh, it's going to ask you questions one by one and wait for your response. Uh, that way, it'll feel more like a real interview. Adding more details to my prompt, I'm making sure that they know I'm the only one interviewing with them. And I have this command I can use uh, where I can stop the interview anytime but if I say I'm done. Uh, in the exclusion section, I'm going to make sure that there's no explanations provided for any of the responses I provide. For the exclusions, I'm going to make sure that ChatGPT does not provide me any explanations and also does not have the whole conversation in a single, in a single block. Uh, also, to start off, I'm going to say hi so it's they know the interview is starting. The first position I'm going to start off is a front-end engineer. I added an additional line here to make sure it asks me coding questions and not just behavioral questions. Alright, so it's asking me about my background and how I got interested in front-end development. I'm going to say that I started building building websites as a kid and eventually uh, learned web development in college all right so it's asking me to walk over a recent, a recent project that I worked on and a spe my specific role in it uh, so it didn't specify if it was a personal project or if it was something at a professional job, but I'm going to go, I'm going to write something anyways. I say, uh, I'm, I say that I built a few React components for a web page and um, which allows customers to leave reviews. Uh, the next question is what experience I have in JavaScript and its framework and libraries. I have used Angular and React. What's your experience with HTML, CSS? So I mentioned that I know the basics, but I haven't much of, written much of that from scratch. So next one is, it's asking me how I could optimize a website's load speed. To mention that I can use lazy loading. There's no context, so I just mentioned a buzzword. So most of my responses have been pretty small because uh, this is more like a test. But if you actually wanted to interview for this role, I recommend you answer with proper sentences. Let's try the next role. This time I'm going to use the blockchain engineer position. And I'm going to keep the rest the same. Okay, so the pattern seems similar. Can you tell me about a blockchain project that I work on and my specific role in it? Started using a pancake at its inception. What programming languages are you proficient in and which ones have you used in your blockchain projects? So I'm gonna say JavaScript and Python. Can you walk me through how I would go about designing and implementing a smart contract on an ETH project? If you haven't worked as a blockchain engineer, you would not know the answer. Like I personally have not worked as a blockchain engineer, so I don't know how to actually do this. 
So I'm going to say, I don't know. The next question is what my, what is my understanding on blockchain scalability and what solutions I have encountered or worked on to, to address scalability issues? This is another question, which I don't really know. So I'm going to say, don't, I don't know. As you see, the questions are getting more and more relevant to blockchain engineering. And I'm going to stop this interview because I personally don't know a lot of details about this. Let me take a step back and interview myself for a few roles which are non-technical. The first one I'm going to try is the Walmart greeter. If you're not from the US, Walmart is one of the big mega stores they have. And uh, the greeter is the person who usually welcomes people as they enter the store. The first question is, can you tell me a little bit about yourself and why you're interested in the role? I'm a college student who is interested in a part-time job. Can you give me an example of a time when you provided excellent customer service? I helped an older lady shop for all her items when lost her eyeglasses. Can you describe a situation where you had to de-escalate a difficult customer? Asked him to kindly pay before consuming any fruits since he did not cooperate I called the security to help I was assigned to be on the team which worked during the holiday season the question seems very specific to customer service, which makes sense. I did mention that I'm a college student. Um, a lot of times Walmart readers are older seniors. Maybe if I change my persona to a uh, older senior, it might give me different questions, but I'm going to move on to the next position. So the next role I'm going to try out is the tattoo artist. Can you tell me a little bit about your experience and why you're interested doing art? since i was a kid and wanted to make it a more stable profession can you walk us through the process you use to create a new design you should know i haven't actually worked as a tattoo artist so i don't know how this process works can you tell me of a time when you had a difficult customer i had a customer who requested multiple changes to the design can you tell us about a time when you had to troubleshoot a technical issue with your equipment and how you solved the problem? So this is going more technical into the... Since I don't know enough about tattoo equipment, I'm gonna say I don't know. It's great that me not knowing something is not seen as negative and seen as a positive that I'm being honest. Alright, the last one I'm gonna try out is a dog groomer position. Can you tell me about your experience working with dogs and why you're interested in the role? I had a dog growing up and found that I am pretty good with animals. Can you tell us about a time you had to work with a dog that was difficult to groom and how you handled it? Can you tell us about a time when there was an emergency situation with the dog during grooming? How did you handle it? Can you tell us about a time you had to educate a pet owner on the best grooming practices and how the conversation went? As these questions get more and more specific, you can see why it's important to provide a very specific prompt. All right, hope you got some value out of that video and see how ChatGPT can be really useful in helping you practice for real interviews. If you practiced an interview with a different role, make sure to add it to the comment and tell me how it went. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Till the next one, thank you.